Vengeance 31V uh, here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a Forest River toy hauler, and it is a true toy hauler, and I'll kind of explain what I mean by that. Uh, Vengeance is a member of Forest River's most popular member of the toy hauler family. Um, and, uh, you know, the question then is, well, why? You know, what is it about these that has been so attractive to so many people? And that's what I like to put these videos together for. Because there are things this trailer does that no other trailer does. And there are things other trailers do that this one doesn't. So I like to give you good information so you can decide how you would like to spend your money. Um, let's start up front here. <clears throat> First of all, I want to mention this is, if you're not going to load anything in it, it's half ton towable, but that's not really the point of a toy hauler. If you want to haul toys, uh, I'd really feel better if you had a good three quarter ton, just to put that out there, because this is a long box. Um, basically, it's for the people who have a really big SUV who don't want to go uh, to a truck and a fifth wheel. Um, you know, you've got a front queen, well actually a front king bed that has the full pass-through storage. And that's another unique thing is the Vengeance uh, king bed. Um, you know, in a travel trailer, that's basically unheard of. Now, pardon the little red battery box, that's what's gonna give us some lights today. But right up front, we have a double battery uh, tray with a uh, generator ready tray or just a general utility tray. Uh, you can use that to put like a suitcase generator, put some cargo up there, put a cooler up there, put a grill up there, whatever you want. Power tongue jack so you don't have to crank this monster by hand to get it uh, level. Now when I say true toy hauler, what does that mean? It means that this is tall, so you can put things like with roll bars in here. It's also wide body. This is not 8 foot wide, it's 8.5 wide. It is raining a little bit out there, so if you see my finger wipe some water off the camera now and then, uh, please don't be offended. Now. You see how the side walls of the slides here are textured? That is to, that's here to pull that seal taut. You ever see a, a trailer where the seal's like folded half in and half out? You know, uh, I can't, it's, it's pulled tight enough, I can't even get it to buckle here. But when it's like that, that means it's not sealed. The seal's not doing its job. So um, also, if my hand's in the way, I'm sorry, I'm trying to shield the, uh, the lens of the camera from any stray water droplets. Big windows in the slide here, and good windows in the garage area, which is something that a lot of uh, travel trailer toy haulers do not have. This also does have a, uh, a set of nice aluminum wheels on here to keep it looking good over time. Now, looking at this patio party deck, this is an excellent time to mention. You're going to see a lot of upgrades present in this video, non-standard equipment. Not every single 31V that we carry, or you will see, is going to look exactly like this. Uh, for instance, right here we're seeing two huge upgrades. We're looking at the patio party deck and the Happy Jack um, beds with the, the lift down sofas. Standard would be no patio deck and standard would be no overhead power lift bed that goes up and down and these benches would be fixed to the wall and with, the, with the, the power bed option they move up and down with it. So what that means is you can get a wider loading area as a result. But right before we hop inside, I do want to take a quick trip over here to show you the offside here. Darn it, my hand's in the way again, I'm sorry. Um, you notice too that there's no supports under the patio deck. Now, you can probably find that on a fifth wheel all day long. The patio party deck is something that uh, you can find on fifth wheels all over the place. But it's really uncommon on a travel trailer. Um, I'm, I don't know of another brand that does it. I'm sure there's at least one. Uh, but I, I don't know of a lot of mainstream manufacturers that do it. We have a big power awning on here too, so you're not going to have to wrestle with a big heavy manual awning. And notice how it easily covers both doors. You know, the awning arm doesn't stop right behind the door, it goes all the way to the back. We have a huge patio space here that's a lot of fun and very functional. Uh, you see we have a little indoor-outdoor table, so you can have your own little built-in picnic table. You can use that like a dining table in the garage area, do whatever you want with it. And this right here is an outside entertainment system. This has a good Sony sound system in it, so you, you know you don't get that chintzy, uh, you know, tinny sound if you like good music. Uh, I guess <laughs> good air quotes because everyone's definition is different. I don't expect people to like the crazy music I listen to. Anyway, this uh, this is an outside TV entertainment system. Now uh, a television is optional with a Vengeance. We will commonly include them, but always double check our options list because if we get sold out of inventory real quick. Sometimes we'll call down and if they have an open trailer in the yard, we'll pick up whatever equipment they have. Um, this is a, uh, a touch pad entry system, keyless entry, so that you don't have to like worry about, oh man, am I gonna lose my keys in my pocket when I'm on the trail or something like that? You don't gotta worry about it. Or, you know, if you're using this more like an alternative bunkhouse as opposed to a, you know, a, a motorcycle hauler, or an ATV hauler, 
then uh, you know if you're going kayaking or canoeing or something with a family, you don't got to worry about accidentally you know dropping stuff in your pocket or just bringing extra stuff along. And notice how this little gate here can close, it can open, it can do whatever you want. Now, something I haven't uh, installed quite yet is um, there are little safety nets, basically little safety cover shrouds you can put right here so that uh, you don't have to worry about kids or dogs or anything just sneaking out the side. Now again, true toy hauler. It is uh, dovetailed on the rear end, so you're not going to bottom out your bike, you're not going to rip your pipes off or anything like that. These uh, D-rings, there's nine of them in this garage. They're, uh, what uh, Vengeance is giving them a rating of is 2,500 pounds. They have pole tested them to 3,300, and what failed was the ring, not the fixture. The ring gave up before this did. This never buckled, there was never floor damage. This is a, a tongue and groove plywood floor that is very strong. The D-rings are screwed right to that. And then uh, after they screw them through, they uh, add a, well, uh, they first they run the screw holes, then they add a glue called Sikaflex, which is literally the same stuff that's holding the windshield on your car right now. So it's pretty good stuff. And then they run the screw through, so it's, it's not going anywhere. Now, when you get the Happy Jack bed option that we're looking at here, you get an exclusive feature of Vengeance. And this is one of those things that I don't believe anyone else is doing because Vengeance builds this in-house. They don't order it this way. They add on this gigantic slide-out drawer. Now what's cool, there's one on this side and there's one on that side of the bed as well. So there's two of these. And again, this is the type of floor decking we're talking about. Tongue and groove, 5 8 inch plywood. It is not cheap, it's not chintz. They spend good money. That's the, that's the whole thing with Vengeance. They spend the money where it matters. You know, they're not adding frosting just for the sake of frosting. It's, it's, there's, it's not lipstick on a pig. This is all thriller, no filler. Um, your uh, benches, again, standard are fixed to the wall, but they will operate in basically the same way. Um, you have a, uh, with the Happy Jack bed option like this, they roll over to form into a bed. When they're fixed to the wall, they fold up against the wall. Um, while I have that down, let's look at this here. You've got good windows here in this garage space, and they all have these uh, just snap-on blackout shades. These are the ones you want. You don't want traditional like um, pull-down cloth or metal shades in your garage because your handlebars, if they catch those things, are going to just destroy it. You get a 1,200 pound Harley in a fight with a 30 ounce uh, you know, window shade and you do the math. And at the end of the day, you lose no matter what. Um, moving forward here uh, in the garage space, see that little black TV bracket right here? Notice how that looks a lot like the TV bracket you saw outside. That's because this is designed to take you, what you do is you actually mount your TV to this thing, and then you can take your TV into the garage. You can remove it, take it to outside. There's a matching bracket like this in the living room, in the bedroom. This has four TV stations in it, basically. You can either shift one TV around or just install a couple TVs, whatever works for you. And again, devil's in the details, especially in toy haulers, because there's some really cutthroat stuff out there. Um, you're going to find more power outlets in a vengeance. And do you notice you have a full 12 inches of diamond plate? A lot of manufacturers in travel trailers are starting to put no diamond plate in. And if it's much shorter than this, guys, it might as well not even be there. Because this is right where your foot pegs are going to sit. And uh, again, you, you put a, a bike in uh, in a fight with some wallboard, and you're going to lose, and the wallboard's going to get destroyed. Uh, I like that this has a private garage here. So you can actually separate the front and the rear. Um, pardon me real quick. I'm going to go kick on a couple lights for us. This is another thing I like. All your switches are backlit. So if you're like me, if you stumble in the morning or at night and it's dark, you can kind of, you have a good idea. And you see how much of a difference that makes, even during the day. It really brightens it up in here. Your sofa, uh, this has the, uh, the uh, party sofa here. And this is, again, something that's almost never found in a travel trailer. And all four sections of this have these little pull strings, and they all recline. So you can have four individual reclined, uh, recliners, or not reclining, however you want to do it. Uh, your window treatments here are really nice. They give you a lot of privacy. They're not the cheap metal uh, you know, shades. These are nice wooden plantation blinds. They have a great look to them. Uh, not to mention they hold up really well. Now, if you listen to this, hardwood. Not foam. Again, they're spending money where it matters. That's that's the important thing in here. Central air, central heat, which again, a lot of toy haulers simply don't match. But remember, this is a good size girl. This is a good size rig. You're going to want that extra air power uh, with the central system to disperse air through the entire thing, including the garage. Now, because this is extra tall, this is what, like seven, six tall inside or something like that. 
you have extra large massive cabinetry up here and they left it wide open so if you want to put organizers up there or something like that you can over here where another tv station is located we also have a charging station you have a 12 volt what we grew up calling cigarette lighter and then a pair of usb plugs to keep all kinds of different devices charged up and ready with a vengeance you have an eight cubic foot refrigerator freezer not a six now, it looks like we've upgraded this one to have the hardwood door inserts. We won't do that every time. So again, keep in mind, this video may look slightly different from your photo tour. This is another critical area over here. They give you a, a flush mount glass top stove. The stove is actually recessed down. That gives you more functioning countertop space. Also, they, might, they lower mount the microwave to give you greater upper cabinetry. And this is half-time cook convection oven. You know, this is not your cheap little, uh, you know, 0.9 cubic foot uh, electric microwave that you get from a lot of places. Uh, big sink you can actually use to wash stuff in. And you are getting a little bit nicer hardware in here than a common travel trailer. Uh, I think we've pretty much killed the living room real quick. Let's uh, take a quick view of the bathroom area. Now this does have like a, a good size bathroom in here. First of all, you see you have a standing shower, not a little tub. And because this is 7'6 tall, unless you play in the NBA professionally, you're not going to hit your head in here. Uh, Vengeance is also known for having one of the largest medicine cabinets in their class. This one in this floor plan is a little um, thinner, but it is taller than almost anything else you'll find out there. And they still put a big sink in here you can actually wash your hands in. <clears throat> Moving up to the bedroom, I do like to point out that once again, we do have uh, privacy doors. And seeing this little poster, this is part of an upgrade package that we have on our Vengeances right now. Again, not every single Vengeance is equipped the same way. But uh, I forgot to mention things like the LED light. This has an LED light strip at the base of the awning. We also have some cool uh, blue accent lights above um, certain fixtures here. And at night, if you kick those on, they make the perfect night light. Not to mention they just have a cool mood effect on them. Um, oh, I walked right by it. Forgot to mention it. Uh, Battery disconnect, that's what this red thing is here. Things like your big refrigerator, water heater, all that stuff. It has a circuit board that even if you're not using it, still trickle draws off the battery. That disconnect is going to hard kill that so that you don't eat your battery up when the RV's in storage. Um, you know, huge, huge, huge overhead cabinetry. It is far deeper than what you normally find. And again, this is not only a toy hauler with a walk around bed, this is a king bed. The Vengeance King comes in almost every single Vengeance floor plan. And you're thinking, how are they putting a king in here without a slide and you can still walk around it? Remember, this is a wide body coach. There's more room to get around the bed because the whole coach is wider. So they can get away with a bigger bed. And there is a lift up storage underneath of here. Uh, again, another TV station here in the bedroom. So you can, you have privacy, you have entertainment, you have fun and features. You have everything in one of these. That's why they're so popular. The one thing you don't have is the screaming high price tag of, of some of these other brands out there. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Happy camping.